So you're thinking about moving to Myrtle Beach, South Carolina, and you're interested in Polly's Island, Merrill's Inlet area. You want to know all about the south end of the beach. Well, in today's video, you are in luck because we're gonna hop inside of a Google map. We're gonna go all over Merrill's Inlet and Polly's Island, the non-Marsh Walk restaurants, the Marsh Walk restaurants, what is the Marsh Walk? You're gonna get to know all about that, guys. Right now, let's get after it. Now, if you like the content that you're receiving on the Living in Myrtle Beach channel, then please tap that bell for notifications, hit that subscribe button, hit that like button, drop us a comment. We love talking with you guys. Um, and even share these, these videos right there on your social media with friends and family so that you can be the first to learn about current market changes right here in Myrtle Beach. Now, guys, the Cana team, we, we get calls and emails every day from people just like you looking to make that move to Myrtle Beach, South Carolina. So no matter where you are in the buying process, let's say you're one month out, let's say you're up to three years out, doesn't matter where you are, we help clients in that range all the time make a smooth move to Myrtle Beach, South Carolina. So please give us a call, send us a text message, shoot us an email or hop on a live Zoom conference call because we would love the opportunity to get to know you, share your story and help you make that smooth move to our market. All right, guys, let's jump into Polly's Island and Merrill's Inlet Explained. I'm going to zoom out and show you really quick where we are on, on a map. So this is Myrtle Beach, right? This is centrally located in our market. This is in the red, dotted red area. This is the, the Myrtle Beach area. Here going south is Surfside Beach, Garden City Beach, and Merrill's Inlet, and then leads all down into Polly's Island. So our video today is gonna cover these two areas, which I'm gonna highlight in just a minute. However, I just wanna give you kind of an overview of the market. We have Myrtle Beach that leads on inland into Conway. And then if you keep on going further up past Conway, you have Aner. You also have Loris, this is part of our market. Longs is part of our market if you come up north. If you go north, you have North Myrtle Beach, of course, and then Little River. You guys can see that. But we're gonna come south today. So let's type in Merle's Inlet. I believe Merle's Inlet is the seafood capital. <laughs> All right, this little spot right here is Merle's Inlet. Now, Merle's Inlet, again, as you can see, is this is Myrtle Beach. It is south, coming on 17 business. Um, it is south of Merle's of Myrtle Beach. Excuse me. Now, this is Merle's Inlet. As I want to show you really quick where Polly's Island is. Even further south is Polly's Island. This little stretch right here is the beautiful Polly's Island. Okay, now, so both of these spots are right here on the south end of the beach. Now, first, there's Merle's Inlet. There's Polly's Island. Let's cover the roads. This is 17 business. This runs from, from, from all the way from North Myrtle Beach, as you can see, parallel with the ocean, even on up into Little River. That's the, that's the North Carolina state line there, but it runs all the way south right here, parallel to the ocean, into Merrill's Inlet and into Polly's Island. Now it does break off here and become eventually, as you can see up here, it, it, it will become Highway 17 Bypass, which is just a little further inland and runs again parallel to uh, 17 Business and the beach. Now, Highway 31 is another major road here that runs north to south. It is, I mean, it, it is such a help, guys. It helps you get pretty much anywhere that you want to go north to south in our market. Now, it does not go as far as you can see Merrill's Inlet or Polly's Island. However, it is a great help if you're gonna be traveling anywhere in Myrtle Beach and or in North Myrtle Beach. This is a big thing here. A lot of people love the Marsh Walk. So as you can see, the Marsh Walk is right here. Absolutely stunning. It's a quaint waterfront boardwalk um, there's all kinds of restaurants on it and nightly music, there's all kinds of stuff out, out here to do. Let's just check out a few pictures, guys. The Marsh Walk is a very happening place. Lots going on. You see all those restaurants. Lots to do. Boat ride. Kids would love that, by the way. And that's our Marsh Walk. 
It's very, very popular for the Merle's Inlet area. Um, and as you can see on 17 here, let's kind of just walk down 17. We have Graham's Landing. This is a restaurant. Pretty cool little spot. Looks like some good food to me, guys. Okay. So you can get some uh, some non-seafood restaurants right here. Super cool. Ryan's Tire and Auto, Exxon. So as you can see here, you know, you're literally, what? Nine minutes, nine minutes, 10 minutes away from Lowe's and Publix, which is just right here. This will take you right on up into 707, which is another high growth area in my opinion, and it takes you into the Sacristy area, as you can see up here, Sacristy, and starts bringing you on into 31. This is Highway 31 right here. So that 707 will take you right on down Burgess Road to where that Lowe's food is and to where that Publix is. And the 707 will lead you right on down into 17 business and right on into uh, the heart of Merle's Inlet. Myrtle Beach International Airport. Yep, we have a whopping 32 minutes. So from Merle's Inlet, you're literally just going to continue on 17 business. Then you're going to hop on. It looks like, I couldn't tell you what, what avenue this is. It's a county road, but literally you're just going to hop on 17 bypass. Take that right on up. About a 32 minute drive, right straight down. And you're gonna go into the Myrtle Beach International Airport. Looks like you hop on Harrelson Boulevard right off of um, Highway 17 bypass. And sure enough, you're at the airport, a good 32 minute drive. Guys, tons, look at this guys. Marlon Quay Marina Bar and Grill, well, that's a bar and grill. Let me see. Hold on. There we go, guys. It looks like they're having fun. You're gonna have all. You're gonna have tons of stuff going on here as far as Crazy Sister Marina Fishing Charters, Freedom Boat Club. Hold on. Are we at West Marine. Let me see if I can get a little closer. Okay, so as you can see, watchy watchy Marina. Uh, you're going to come off of Merrill's Inlet, off of 17 Business. You're going to cross over the bypass on Wachesaw Road, and you're going to come right in. There's obviously some golf out there, too, Wachesaw Plantation Club. And then you get to the marina. You're a whopping seven minutes away, eight, eight, seven, eight minutes from Merrill's Inlet. Miniature golf in Merrill's Inlet. Guys, there's tons of miniature golf in our market. It's everywhere. It's like, it's, it's wild. Gilligan's Island, Funland, mini golf with, with a desert theme. Inlet Adventure, as you can see, Inlet Adventure Miniature Golf. This one's closed. <clears throat> Runaway Bay. This is where I took my son. We went on a field trip with uh, with his school. Had a lot of fun in this little, uh, this little miniature golf. We call it, for, for all you Northerners, we call it putt-putt. Here in the south, as you can see, but a lot of fun, tons of miniature golf. All this is gonna be right here off of 17 Business, as you can see, Adventure Falls Golf, and all this is in that Merle's Inlet area right here along 17 Business um, in Merle's Inlet. So let's move on to Pauly's Island real quick. Again, just a little further south now, when it comes to medical guys, this is what I'm gonna say, you know, you're gonna get your best healthcare coverage, your top flight coverage. If you stay on 17 for about two hours, maybe an hour and a half from Pauly's Island, you stay on 17, you head all the way down to Charleston, you're at top flight medical there at MUSC. However, Pauly's Island and um, and Merrill's Island should have you covered as far as medical. Um, and if not, you can always travel on into Myrtle Beach. But as you can see here now, Here's our Polly's Island. And coming right out of here, you can see all kinds of Highlands Medical right here. We have medical here. We have medical here. 
So this looks like a minute clinic CVS. You're literally kind of going to just, just hop on 17. 17 business. Oh, the original hammock shop. I got to tell you guys about that. But there, there are more doctors here, as you can see. So now it's going to be a little bit limited um, as far as it's probably not going to have as much of a selection as a pain management doctor here off of 17. Um, Medcare, urgent care for Pauly's Island right here, just right off of 17. So as you can see, you know, Pauly's Island is this stretch right here. And you have a nice, you have a good handful of doctors over here and some medical right up, right outside of Pauly's Island on 17 business. So all that being said, um, I do want to take a, just a quick aside, the original hammock shop. Guys, this place is super cool. Definitely want to check it out. You want to get a hammock made, you want to go there. It's a, it's a little gym in the Pauly's Island area. Don't want to miss it. Absolutely stunning little spot. All right, guys, real quick. Now let's talk. Let's talk golf in Polly's Island real quick. We're covered in golf, guys, as you can see. Polly's Island is right here on this map. We got Polly's Plantation Golf, uh, Golf and Country Club. Look at this. I mean, this area is going to be inundated with golf, guys. And it's going to be really nice. True Blue Golf Club. Come on, good old True Blue. Again, this is all right off of 17, as you can see down here. Tons of golf to be had in this. Yes, we have Gators in, in the Myrtle Beach area, in the Myrtle Beach market. Now, all of these are going to get... A, a, a tradition club. I mean, I can keep going, guys. Will, Willbrook Plantation. Uh, the point is that all this golf is going to be right here, right in that Pauly's Island area. Here's Pauly's Island. You're literally hopping on 17. And, um, you know, you have access to all of these different golf clubs. The Reserve Golf Club. Reserve Harbor Yacht Club. Now, let's look really quick for marinas in that Pauly's Island area. Heritage Plantation Marina, as you can see here. Again, it's just off of 17. Oh, you're gonna, or is, let me just do some directions real quick. Let me, let me show you what it looks like. A nice little marina. We're gonna hop into some directions. In Polly's Island. Literally, you're simply going to, it's 12 minutes away from, from, from Polly's Island Island, the actual island part of it. You're going to hop on 17, it looks like. Uh, then you're going to hop on uh, Beaumont Drive, take that on up to Kings River, and then eventually hit Heritage Plantation Drive. And it carries you right into Heritage, Heritage Plantation Mar Marina. You are a whopping 12 minutes, guys. Okay, and then you have the Reserve Harbor Yacht Club, guys. You can see here, very, very nice. And then let's just really quick do some directions here from Paulie's. So as you can see, Polly's Island, again, you're going to get on Waverly Road, head to Kings Road, and head to Reserve Harbor Yacht Club. You'll make a left on, what is this one? This one's Willbrook, Willbrook Boulevard. You'll make a left on up and come into Reserve Harbor Yacht Club. Okay, guys, well, that about wraps it up for our our map video, as you can see, you know, Merle's Inlet and Polly's Island area are pretty close together. Here's Polly's Island. Merle's Inlet is literally just right up the road, right here. So there's your Merle's Inlet. There's your Polly's Island. These areas, we kind of combine them because, you know, they're both connected by Highway 17 um, and they're pretty close to each other. Lots of golf, lots of restaurants, lots to do. 
You don't want to miss it. Well, it's Brandon signing off with the Living in Myrtle Beach channel. Please, in the top right-hand corner, in the bottom left-hand corner, there are going to be some more videos. Click on those. Our channel is aimed at being a wealth of resources for you to get to know uh, the Myrtle Beach market, the attractions in our area, some of the top 10 restaurant videos, Market Common videos, Barefoot Landing videos, Broadway at the Beach videos. There's all kinds of things to do here. So click on some of those other videos so that you can learn more about our market. Until next time, this is Brandon signing off with that Living in Myrtle Beach channel.